Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In this demo, we are going to see how we can build and host a basic static website on Azure Blob Storage in just 10 minutes. So let's start. For this demo, I am in Azure port. Let's create a Blob Storage where we will host a static website. We can go to marketplace and search for a storage account. Let's click on this storage account. Let's click on create. Let's provide the resource group name. Let's provide the name. And this will be fully qualified name. We will come with all that qualified domain name. So let's see that. Let's keep the same region. Let's go for LRS right now. Let's go for next. We do not need to enable hierarchical name space because we need to have plain one. We need to enable from public access because anyway we are doing going to have static pages which will be served to end user. Let's review and click create. Let's go to resources. Now inside resources, let's go to a static website. Let's enable and we have to provide the which will be the main page name, the first page name. Let's say that index.html and we have to provide in case of any error, what is the path name. So let's put that error.html and let's save this. Our setting has been created and there will be a now new web container for this uh, static app, web app. And this is our endpoint, which we can go and try to browse and it should work without going to that one. So requested content does not exist. So web content not found because we have not created any page right now. So this is container right where it is uh, it have, we have to upload a file so let's go ahead and let's create any of the file inside any any your tool right and basic site i can have that right html and then let's have let's save this as a index file right it is it it is index.html so let's save this and let's go to once back to our portal and let's upload let's go to this page let's upload so now we have a file over here we can edit from here we can see from here also and if we go in this page now our website is up and ready whatever we want to do changes we can do and the changes will be reflected and this is how simply in two minutes we can create a static web page inside azure portal we can also work inside visual studio if you want to work we can connect with azure from visual studio you can do all the coding you can save and publish that one so you can do another way also let's do that v2 I can go and I can have a tool called Storage Explorer where I will connect this uh, storage account. I can connect with my uh, Azure sign in so that it can show. So, right now it is connected with my account itself. If you see, we can go and see which blob we were using. We created the blob. For this demo which is software static website right we can go it here and we can find that this is software static website this is blob container and this is the container where our website is there let's upload files we can upload upload successfully Let's refresh. Now B2 is there. Now, if you want to put any anchor tag, click me. Let's create one second page. And let's save this page. Second page.html or stm, whatever we want to save. And I will copy this one only. Second page, 
it will bring back to index.html. Let's save that. Let's upload both files this time. Both file is uploaded. Now let's go and refresh this. So not found because we have given the name as let's see stm. We can change this to stm. And the second one let's change back to what we have given. This was index.html because the first one. Let me upload both file one more time. Now second page, first page, right? So this is how it works. Let's go inside this and let's see that a Judas storage extension is present or not. It will install Azure account also. So let's go ahead now into Azure section. Now we can sign into Azure from here. It will ask the details. I'm signed in because I was signed in into my browser first, but you, for you, it will ask that username and password. Now it is waiting sign in. So it says that you are signing, you can close that. So I will close it will go into one second. So it now it came here. Now let's go inside this all of the resources I can see from here. I can go into a static website into blog container web one. And from here itself, I can do I do not have to save anything here. And I can do it from click me direct from this i can save it and it is saving the blob and if we want to go ahead and see that page second page right i can refresh this page now click me direct from here so i do not have to go and save i can work directly on that storage pages and other things that is how easily we can create a static web page inside azure storage this is how it works if you want to set up a custom domain, then you can enable the Azure CDN also, or you can work with your provider where your domain is there to redirect to this page based on uh, settings that is also supported that you can do. So this is what I wanted to share you with uh, this video. I hope you will like that one. Thank you.